Welcome to Tech Tips. Today we've got on the menu something that we've all eagerly been waiting for. That's right folks, it's time for Haswell E, Intel's new shiny enthusiast lineup of processors. They're so shiny new that we don't even have the retail boxes. Just these plain old white engineering box samples. Okay, so what the heck is Haswell E? Well, first of all, let's see what Intel has to say for themselves. They're claiming it's a new ecosystem designed for gaming, overclocking, and content creation. For gaming, the processors support up to 40 lanes of PCIe Gen 3 natively, including quad graphics support and PCIe-based high-speed storage solutions. The overclocking part is taken care of with the entire lineup being unlocked right out of the box. I mean, I would hope so with these being enthusiast products. Last but not least, content creators are going to love hyper-threaded octa-core for 16 threads of processing power. Oh, and did I mention? It's going to have quad-channel DDR4 memory. More on that a little later. So on launch, we're gonna get three models, the i7-5820K, the i7-5930K, and the i7-5960X. So let's say you're contemplating the Devil's Canyon 4790K. What do you get for moving up to the lowest end Haswell E processor? Well, you're getting quad-channel memory, 28 lanes of PCIe, and a 3.3 gigahertz hex core. Moving to the mid-range, the 5930K ramps things up to 40 PCIe lanes and a 3.5 gigahertz base clock that will actually hit 4.0 gigahertz given enough thermal headroom. Finally, the extreme edition, oh yes, the 5960X. Now this is an octa-core. Now interesting enough, the box just fell down because it is an engineering sample, but they've dialed back the clock speed to a more modest 3.3 gigahertz that turbos up to 3.8 gigahertz. This is likely due to maintaining a TDP of 140 watts across the board for all three chips. So if you're going for stuff that isn't heavily threaded, you might want to consider the 5930, Okay, just for the extra speed across fewer cores. So with the launch of a new processor comes a couple of things, a new socket and a new chipset. Let's first start with the socket. This time around, Intel is actually sticking with the LGA 2011, except now it's revision three, now called LGA 2011-3 real original Intel. Although the pins are the same, Intel is not allowing for backwards compatibility whatsoever. Haswell eCPUs won't work in older boards, and older CPUs won't work in 2011-3 motherboards. So on to the chipset. The Haswell E lineup is going to be compatible with only the X99 chipset. Natively, the chipset is going to include support for gigabit networking, 10 SATA Gen 3 ports, 6 USB 3 ports, 8 USB 2 ports, 8 PCIe 2.0 lanes, HD audio, rapid storage RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, and a whole host of other standard features. One final note, Haswell E is going to be the first processor to utilize DDR4. Officially, the quad channel memory will run at 2133 megahertz, but as we've seen in the past, motherboards should support speeds more than that over time. Intel says that the 5960X should outperform the outgoing 4960X despite the lower clock speeds, but we are going to take a closer look at benchmarks in a separate episode, so subscribe if you want to see that episode. Thanks for watching this overview of Haswell E. Comment below and let us know if you're ready to make the switch to truly next-gen enthusiast hardware.